Happy Halloween, girlies. By the time I post this, it should be Halloween day. So that's why today I'm gonna be doing a Halloween look. Um, I'm super excited, kind of nervous. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up, but we're just gonna pray for the best. And yeah, because I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just afraid I'm gonna mess it up, <laughs> but it's cool you know so i already did my eyebrows before i even started filming um i actually lost my dip brow so i have to go get some more after i film this because i have no idea what happened to it but it's okay funny story i actually found it like a couple hours later already like after i bought a new one so now i just have two dip brows like i have a full one and a half full one <laughs> so yeah love it i'm about to do my winged eyeliner off camera because you know i like to do it backwards i like to do my eyeliner first and then i like to do my eye look really just an eyeshadow look it's not anything too special i mean it's definitely a step up for anything that i've done before but other, compared to like other Halloween looks, yeah, it's not that special, but it's okay because it's special to me. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna start with going in with my Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia, and hello? Um, so I'm gonna start with going in with the this little light brown shade, Rustic. I'm gonna go in with that, and I'm gonna go in on my crease. Okay, so I'm gonna start in, I'm gonna go in on my crease uh -huh. I'm gonna blend it out and honestly it's okay if like the eyeliner gets a little messed up during this phase because I can fix it later the reason I do my eyeliner this way is genuinely just because if I don't I always like f it up and then I'm gonna do it on the same thing on the other why did I do that like that <sighs> okay so after that's done I'm going to take um, Cypress Umber the one right there <laughs> I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it kind of on the outside kind of gonna go in like this but I'm gonna mainly focus it out here to kind of darken it up on the outside I'm gonna try to blend it out a little bit more and kind of deepen the crease I want to keep it light up here but I want I want the crease to be a little bit deeper so yeah and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take this white color in the Violet Voss palette, the sand color, and I'm gonna take it around everything, and I'm just kinda gonna blend it out, I guess, a little bit more, or attempt to, like just to kind of make the edges less harsh. I feel like my right side always looks better than my left side. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Okay. Is my battery about to die? I will do it until it dies. Okay, so now I'm going to um, put a little concealer on my um, lid and I'm gonna cut my crease basically. And I'm gonna use my shape tape to do that, my Tarte shape tape. I'm kinda gonna tap it to blend it in. I'm actually going to take that sand color and I'm gonna set this just because, I don't know, that's what I did last time. And so I'm gonna do it again. And then I'm going to go back into my ABH Soft Glam palette and I'm going to wet my brush with a um, spray bottle and I'm gonna kind of wipe the extra water off. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to take the glittery shade bronze the one right there. I'm gonna take that and I'm going to put it all over my lid, like all over it, because you, know, you need a little bit of glitter. Even though you're trying to be spooky, you need some glitter, you know? But yeah, I'm going to a Halloween party tonight and I'm actually super excited because my costume idea is such a good idea. I'm not gonna wear this look. I'm genuinely gonna take it off right after I'm done filming this because I already wore it to Netherworld or like a variation of it to Netherworld. So yeah, it's already been seen, you know? Uh, I'm not gonna wear it to the party. I'm going to redo my face. I'm kind of just gonna do my basic face for the costume just because I don't really think it requires anything super extra except for wear like a burnt orange lipstick because Kim Possible has like burnt orange lipstick on all the time. I'm back. I charged my camera for like five minutes. I'm going to parade. It makes it. <laughs> So I actually touched it up a little bit off camera. I added a color. I did add 
some black to it. I felt like it wasn't dark enough. Oh yeah, I literally forgot to say what brush. I'm, I was using the M513 for the regular crease brush. And then for um, to add the black, I took the M562, like the small one. And I took Sunny's from the Violet Voss palette and just kind of blended it in a little bit. But I touched up the whole look while I was off camera. So like, yeah, that's what happened. But so now the fun part, we're gonna add um, like a spider web to this eye and like a little spider hanging off my eyebrow from this eye. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I am. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with the web. I think I'm gonna do that first. Um, God, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, so I think how I'm gonna start this. I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm gonna go to about right there. I think I'm gonna take it to right there. And I'm then going to, I'm going to add to the web. I'm gonna like take it and go like, So that's the base of it. And then I'm going to do another line. I was literally not in frame to do that whole line and I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do one more. So those are the lines for the web. So with the inside lines, I don't wanna like go straight across. You know, I want it to look like a spider web. So how I'm gonna do it, oh dude, you can't see me. I'm gonna start on the end and I'm gonna like diagonal and then I'm gonna do that one the opposite and then I'm gonna do this one the opposite and then I'm just gonna keep doing that. And it doesn't have to be perfect cause like are spider webs even perfect? Not for real. All right, cool. That's the little web on this eye. Um, I'm gonna leave that the way it is. So now I'm gonna, on this eye, I'm going to take the eyeliner. I never said what eyeliner I was using. I'm using the NYX Vinyl Eyeliner. I wanna get the matte one, but I just bought the vinyl one a while ago and I've just been using it. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna like go down my eyebrow. This worked better last time, I'm not gonna lie. How about I wasn't in frame for any of this part? So, yeah, that is crap. But basically all I did was I just like went down it and then I like scooped it and then I like made it hang off and then I just drew a little ball and then added some legs. So, I mean, it's not really that complicated, but I'm just mad that I barely got any footage of it. I wanna make him big. The first time I did this last time, it was super small. I'm doing the legs now. I know spiders have eight legs, but he only has six. So, you know what? We're going to go with it. It's, so, it's like there's a little spider right there, and then there's a little web right there. Now, I'm going to do my whole face. Um, my process has kind of changed, so I genuinely just kind of want to show you like what I do now. So, um, this is my first makeup look with my camera and with all of my new products, actually. So I'm really excited I'm, um, to show you guys like everything that's new. Um, if my camera dies, I'm literally just going to charge it again and finish it because it's blinking again. So I'm using the Stila One Step, the color correcting primer. I actually really like this primer. I went to Netherworld um, last weekend um and it was super fun the only downside that i just didn't enjoy we had to wait like three hours just to get inside and like it was super annoying like it wasn't that long to wait to buy the tickets but it was super long to wait to actually get into the haunted house and we only did the one but it was super fun though and i definitely had a good time i went with my friend daniel so i'm using my becca ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation 
I love this foundation. It's actually in the shade Lemon, and it's a little bit dark for me. Well, I love it because it's so full coverage. Like, a little goes such a long way. And I'm actually using my new Morphe sponge. Well, it's not new. I've, been, I've had it for a couple weeks. But it's my new Morphe sponge. I love my Morphe sponge. Okay, yeah. So, pray this doesn't die again because I'm literally, I'm not not playing this game today but we're gonna take my shape tape and porcelain beige that's another new thing that's different from the last time um i'm going to highlight i've also been enjoying school and i think i really like the like science behind it behind makeup like i want to make my own makeup line so i need y'all to get me famous yeah i want to do it i have an idea behind it not gonna say it don't want anybody to steal it if i do end up being famous and then i'm gonna highlight my chin and my forehead if y'all are asking for makeup for christmas i want to know like leave a comment what kind of makeup are y'all um wanting for christmas i know a lot of stuff is going to come out between now and then anyway but um i think the ones i'm kind of aiming for i really like all of the the two faced holiday collections i think they're cute and i really want to buy the gingerbread palette but i don't think i want to wait for christmas to buy the gingerbread palette i think i want to go ahead and buy it and then i'm going to take my fenty match stick in the shade amber and i'm going to contour i'm going to do my normal contour but i've actually added to my contour since i last filmed i actually contour my nose now so y'all will get to see that this time and y'all know I always rub it in like this. I always use a brush to do my contour because I use a cream contour. And then I take my beauty blender and just kind of dab it a little. <sighs> yeah, so I'm really super excited for a lot of things that are coming up. Um, I'm actually trying to get into modeling a little bit more. So yeah, if anybody sees this and you know wants to make a model out of me, hit me up. <laughs> but I just have a lot of big plans for myself. That's kind of the one that I'm very open about because I genuinely just really want to do it. So, like, I, I need to get my name and face out there. So, like, yeah. Anybody want to do a shoot? I'll do one. Anybody want to sign me? You can do that too. Uh, oh, another thing. On my beauty page, Urban Decay liked my picture. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, that was kind of like an accomplishment. They didn't repost it, but, like, I'm just thankful that they liked it. Um, so, now I'm going to take this brush it's literally i think it's an eco tools brush and it's just a small little like i guess eyeshadow brush and i'm going to contour my nose i do the sides i always do the sides and i go down and then i go on the like outside and then i go on the bottom and then i go on the top and that's kind of all I do with nose contouring. I kind of do it really roughly because normally after I'll take my beauty blender and kind of just dab it a little bit to make it less harsh. And that's how I contour my nose now. So that's a little that's a little new something. I'm still using my Fenty Matchstick. I love my Fenty Matchstick. I don't think I'm ever going to stop using that. And then I'm going to take my Revlon powder, which is still still my OG. I love my Revlon powder. I'm just going to put that all over my face like normal so now i'm gonna take i have my real techniques um contouring sponge and i'm just gonna take my laura mercier powder and bake in the usual places so on my jawline on my chin upper lip and underneath my eyes and i have also added since i started contouring my nose i put a little right here on the tip and then i take a little down on the bridge and I let that sit while I put on my fake eyelashes. I'm gonna be wearing the House of Lashes Natalia Light. I love the light collection from House of Lashes. I actually probably make these last a little bit longer than they're supposed to. And I love House of Lashes. But what I will do before I even do that, I will curl my eyelashes and I'm gonna use my Benefit Roller Lash to put on my eyelashes before I do my falsies. My eyelashes are on, that's done. I already blended in my bake. I'm going to take my blush. It is the California blush by Benefit. I actually bought it on clearance at Ulta. Now I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Metal Moon Highlighter and I'm going to use it as an all over illuminating powder. So yeah, I'm um really enjoying school right now. I like aesthetics better than I liked cosmetology. Um, I'm glad that I switched, I really am. I think I'm a lot happier in this 
in this field than I was in the Cosmo field. And even though it is basically like it's a similar field, it's still a lot different. And I like it. I like it a lot. And so now I'm going to take my M, what was it again? M562 a small little crease blender and I'm gonna smoke out my lash line with Rustic, the first shade that I used. Yeah, I'm gonna just go underneath it and like kind of go under the eyeliner a little bit. And then I'm going to take the bronze color again and I'm gonna do the inner corner eye highlight I always do I love doing this I think this is my favorite part about an eye look I don't know I think it just brings it together um, personally so now I'm gonna take my benefit their real mascara and I'm gonna do my bottom lashes now I'm going to do highlights um, I'm going to I don't remember what highlight I used last time so I'm just gonna use my regular the um, ABH Amarizi highlight my dog is losing it right now and i'm gonna just put it on the normal places that i normally do it my cheek my nose i only do the tip now just the tip i'm sorry and then i do my chin and then above my brow i'm gonna do my upper lip and my brow bone and then i'm going to blend my chin and my forehead in now i'm gonna add a little bit of my Too faced uh, lip injection extreme just to kind of give me a little plumpness and before i do lipstick i'm going to take my abh clear brow gel i'm just gonna set my brows like i normally do okay so i'm actually going to do my smashbox lipstick it is in the in demand you know what we're gonna mix it with something else that's what we're gonna do Okay, this is a Becca lipstick, and it's in Toasted Hazelnut. I really wish I had a black lipstick. That's what I wish I had. I think I like that. I think I'm just going to go with that. I used um, a Becca lipstick on top of the Smashbox one. This is the finished look. Um, I will take a couple videos, and I'll take some pictures and put them on my beauty page. I actually will take y'all in the bathroom so you can see it a little bit better. This is what it looks like. So I have the spider on this side, and then the web on this side. I actually like it. I think it turned out a lot better than I expected it to. I really actually like it. So this is the finished look. My camera's dying again, so, so I'm actually going to like charge my battery next time. Totally promise I will. Um, I had fun filming today. I missed filming. I really wanted to get back into it and I thought the perfect way to do it was for doing a Halloween look. So here's my Halloween look. Next year I'll do something a little bit more elaborate. I just kind of went simple this year because I've never actually done Halloween looks before. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed filming it. Thank you for watching. Um, tune in next time. I will do something fun and funky. I'll do a hit vlog probably. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching girlies. Bye girlies.